Leggings are so comfortable to wear, but many people will not equate wearing leggings with looking classy. When many people are thinking of classy or sophisticated, in their minds they're thinking of that old money aesthetic, which is kind of that blend of beautiful quality fabrics, great tailoring and fit, a blend of palettes that are neutral and nude and toned down and more subdued. In other words, something that is more refined or proper or elegant. But personally, the old money aesthetic does not work for me. It looks too prim and proper and too conformed. I like something that is bold, it's edgy, it's rebellious, it's colorful, it's vibrant and has a lot of energy in it. But yet, I want it to be comfortable. So I found a way to dress up my leggings in a way that makes me feel really comfortable but yet classy. Especially if I find the right pair for my curvy hair figure. And here's how I do it. So one of the best ways I can wear my comfy leggings is by pairing it up with a long sleeve blazer. For this outfit, I'm wearing a black high-waisted pair of leggings with a beautiful multicolored red jacket and then a cami, a white cami underneath and I'm wearing red mid heels. The blazer adds a level of sophistication that just makes this outfit look even more dressed up than it actually is. If you want to look even more classy, you could decide to wear like a fitted shirt underneath the blazer to take the style to another level. And with the blazer, you have the option of whether you're going to tuck out the fitted shirt underneath or you're going to tuck it in. So it is the cut and the fit of the blazer that elevates this outfit from being just a pair of leggings to looking like something that I would wear for a formal event, I would wear for an evening out, I would wear it for as many occasions as I can fit in. You can also leave the blazer opened or you can close the buttons on the blazer if you want a more tailored structured fit. Now blazers are one option. You can also go for other structured outerwear like long sleeve jackets or a coat or even short sleeve or sleeveless blazers or jackets. For this outfit, I decided to pair a short sleeve leather jacket with high-waisted denim-like leggings. I've also paired this with a white cami underneath and a pair of heels just to add more elegance to my outfit. This outfit can be dressed up or even dressed down. So if I don't want to wear heels, I could go for a pair of trainers or sneakers and the outfit will still look really nice. Now where I wear the trainers, it looks a bit more dressed down, but it doesn't make me look frumpy. There is still a level of class to this outfit and I think that has to do with the short sleeve jacket that I'm wearing on top. That adds a bit of structure to the style and then it makes the outfit look really nice. Now, if I don't want to wear a blazer or a structured outerwear, then I'll play with accessories. Accessories are the fastest way to add some elegance to your outfit. So when you're thinking of your accessories, I want you to think of earrings, necklaces, a brooch, a ring, anything that will add a level of sophistication to your outfit. And don't forget your bags and your shoes. For example, these camel leggings, which I don't really like, I've paired it up with a white long sleeve wrap top. But you can see that when I add the earrings and the shoes, it makes this simple outfit look even more dressed up. It adds a bit of color, it adds a bit of sophistication to an otherwise simple outfit and it still works. Bear in mind that you can still look classy and sophisticated wearing flats and not high heels. Now accessories like shoes can make or break an outfit and wearing something like boots with leggings is a way to elevate the outfit. They don't have to be thigh high boots, you can wear booties, but when you are wearing any pair of boots that are below your thighs or your knees, make sure that they have a little bit of space at the calves so they don't look too tight and they blend nicely with the leggings. Now, another accessory that can add a bit more color and class to the outfit is a scarf. But you can see that the addition of the scarf adds another layer of sophistication to the simple outfits. And when you add on the thigh-high boots, 
you have a classy outfit that is really comfortable to wear. So think of all the different accessories you have and try to pair them up with your leggings to see if they can add a bit more class and style to your outfit. Now, when it comes to leggings, especially if you are curvy and pear-shaped, meaning that you are bottom heavy, heels are a way to add a bit of height and class to your leggings outfit. They could be pointed heels, they could be boots, they could be sandals. Anything with a bit of heel is going to add a level of sophistication and elegance to your leggings outfit. So for this outfit, I paired navy high waist leggings with a wrap style multicolored top. And I tried on this outfit with different pairs of heels just to show what it looks like when you add a pair of heels to fitted leggings. Now because the top is fitted, the bottom is also fitted, wearing a darker colored leggings at the bottom helps to reduce how clingy the fabric is on a curvy body. And then when you pair it up with the heels, it adds the height and kind of tones down your bottom half and makes the outfit still work in a way that fits and suits your silhouette. So you can pair your leggings with pointed heels or sandals or boots or anything that has a bit of elevation. The heels add a bit of class and gives you that good blend of classy but comfortable. Hello, have you liked this video? Please do, it helps this channel and this video tremendously. And by the way, I have some interesting news that I'm going to share before the end of this video. So make sure you watch until the end. Never shy away from prints and colors because you want to look classy and sophisticated. Even though most of us curvy pear-shaped women will be going for darker colors at the bottom, especially with the stretchy leggings and the way they cling to our bodies. Do not be afraid to try out the prints and the colors that may work on your silhouette. Now this outfit, I decided to wear the prints and the color on the top part of the body. I alternated between wearing the pale pink high-waisted leggings and black leggings just to see how both looked on my body. Now for the black leggings, because you can see that gold button detail, it adds some class and sophistication to the outfit compared to when I'm wearing it with the pale pink leggings. So darker colors will still be the better option when it comes to leggings for curvy women, but don't be afraid of trying out some color. My friends invited me out and it was such a warm day that I wanted to wear something that was free, that was airy, but I wanted to play with color. So I decided to pair this mid green high-waisted leggings with purple, or should I say lilac ruffle top. And the entire outfit is kind of like a blend of the green and the purple with a bit of pastels in the earring and the shoes. Now I love this high-heeled slippers just because of the butterfly detail on the strap of the slipper. And you can see that I've worn a gold belt at my waist just to add more accessories to make this outfit simple but yet classy. Wearing printed leggings can be a hit or miss if you're going for a classy or sophisticated look. If the prints are too bold, they might detract from the look. But if the prints are much smaller, they might work to add some class to your leggings outfit. Now leggings are very stretchy. They're made of elastane and spandex mixed with some other fabric. And because of that, they are going to cling on our body. For us curvy and pear-shaped women, many of us might not feel very comfortable wearing something so fitted on our body. Because if you have something like belly fat, it's going to emphasize it. If you've got thick thighs or thick legs, it's going to emphasize that on your body. So you might be looking for a bit more coverage you can still make leggings look classy by wearing something longer at the top. So I decided to pair this long button down top with the mid green leggings to see how it looks. Now this style of outfit works better when the top you're wearing on top is a bit more structured. I know that we may have these um, cardies that are a bit more casual. While they may be nice, if you add something that has a little bit more structure, so if it has shoulder pads or there is just a bit more structure to the style, it's going to make the outfit look sophisticated and not frumpy. And now that I add heels, it goes a long way in elevating the outfit. I kept trying to compare different types of heels and the way I would combine them to wear this outfit, but this is a simple way that you can make and elevate 
your simple leggings outfit. If you decide you want to wear something long but more fitted to the body, then think about adding an accessory like a long necklace or a belt so that it helps define your waist and add a bit more class to your outfits. And if I decide that I'm going to wear something long on top with leggings, I would make sure that I'm wearing heels at the bottom to finish up the outfit. Now, if you don't want to wear something that is too long, a tailored fitted shirt will work great. Here I've worn high-waisted maroon leggings and I've paired it up with a silk long sleeve top. I love this top because the bow tie detail, I love the way it's kind of like a blend of the maroon and white which makes it almost have the illusion of a scarf when I wear it with this outfit. So rather than tying it up, I just leave it hanging down. I've added a tiny, I wouldn't necessarily call it a brooch. It's actually kind of like a pin that I got from a different outfit. I paired it up here so that it almost looks like a brooch. Now I've worn it here and I've paired it up with heels to make this outfit look nice. I've tucked it out, I've done a side tuck in and I love the way the front just drapes down and makes this outfit look sophisticated. If you don't want to be half tucked in, feel free to fully tuck in and make this outfit stand out. The biggest struggle that I've had in trying to get leggings outfits is finding the right leggings that works for curvy and pear-shaped women. So I'm talking of leggings that have a smaller waist and is cinched properly so that I don't have to be pulling up the leggings as I'm walking about, which is something I struggle with with a number of the leggings that I wear no camel toe, not too tight at the thighs and the legs and darker colors that kind of suit a bottom heavy figure and can help hide the belly fat and all the problem areas for us pear shaped women. Now most of the leggings in this video are prototypes from the collection that I'm currently working on that I believe will be perfect and suitable for curvy and pear shaped women. So if you've struggled with finding the right pair of leggings that gives you a beautiful blend of compression, comfort and class, and you would love to be part of the design process where you help us improve the fit, help us choose colors and everything to do with creating classy leggings, then head over to the description box. You see a link there that will give you all the details on how you can become part of the process of creating something that would work beautifully for your curvy figure and add a touch of class to your wardrobe. You don't need to sacrifice comfort for style. And this video here is going to show you the right trousers or pants that work beautifully for a curvy body.